They think that they want it, but they don't really want it. Don't really want it. I strike with no warning, strike with no they don't see it coming. Don't see it coming. I handle my business, stay the fuck out the way. Fuck out the way. Yeah, all on my lane, get the fuck out my space. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. I'm on a winning streak. Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. 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 Yeah, I'm on a winning streak. Where you at? Hmm? Wake up. Summer. Summer. Hey, mama. <clears throat> Fearless leader of AO Nation and the Men Too movement. And this is my comb. My favorite comb, I will not replace it. It keeps me grounded. Stop that coughing, Ivy. Um, what a game. What a game, huh? Raptors win it. It goes to show you how... And for motherfuckers, I was even... I, <laughs> I was even guilty of this shit. I <laughs> said, Drake, uh, Drake just showed you how much goddamn money he got. You see the goddamn Raptors just won the first time in fucking history. Uh, but to think that a rapper has more money... Then this this fucking industry, these fucking slave owners, you know what I'm saying? Like they sign multiple checks for hundreds of millions of dollars to fucking even fathom. Dog, do you know that if a nigga had, you know what? I was surprised uh, when this nigga um who who paid the uh what was that? What was that? Morehouse. I think it was more how excuse my ignorance. Uh, the, the the black man came and paid everyone's student loan off from, from uh, the graduating class 2019 for Morehouse. Uh, surprised as fuck, we didn't know him because we as black people, we need to we gonna know who got money and shit like that. Um, and he's a fucking billionaire. Um, but these fucking these people. Uh, also, I, I said this on my Instagram. Uh, Tony DeLarmy is TD Hip Hop Media. He broke it down so good. He broke down uh, why the um, wealth gap between us and white people will never be closed until we get reparations. Um, that's the type of shit that I like, you know, listening to uh, someone who has done the research, the person that we'll call a fucking geek. Um, done the research, knows the shit, and he's breaking it down to us in layman's terms so we understand exactly what we're up against to where we think, oh, Diddy got Ciroc and fucking Magic Johnson on this team and fucking Michael Jordan on this team and fucking Jay-Z on the Knicks and shit like that only to find out these motherfuckers are one in hundreds of people who want to put stock into it. So you have a piece. You're nothing more than a fucking stockholder, really. You're just the most... Um, um, what is it? Um, glamorized person. So you're just one of the owners who has eyes on you and shit like that. And and uh, truth be told, the other motherfuckers who own the team probably don't even want that fucking publicity. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want nobody to know what the fuck I got going on. I got you know a stock in this. I got stock in fucking um, private prisons. I have stock in. Uh, big tobacco. I got stock in fucking, uh, you know, uh, cannabis farm. And, and, and not only the cannabis farm, but the people who put people in jail for having weed. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just, he just really broke it down because we really believe that fucking Jay Z owns the motherfucking Knicks. 
when he said I'm bringing the Nets to fucking what he did was gave it like hey you guys think that we might be able to I think it'll be a good you know you're really just pitching some shit and then the same thing for Puff Daddy like he owns the rock he's a fucking promoter a fucking promoter you know what I'm saying like you, you've been you're the hired monkey make them look over here we don't give a fuck what you have to do we don't want to be known to have the money these motherfuckers wear five dollar shoes and drive around in Toyotas. A nigga cannot get a hundred dollars without going on motherfucking social media and letting motherfuckers see what's going on. These motherfuckers are making billions silently. And what he and the reason why he was saying all these things is uh for us to get in line. Focus up. If you're thinking that there is some fucking financial black progress, if, you know what I'm saying, financially, you're a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you got this Oprah and Tyler Perry and, like, nigga. And, and it broke down, oh, man, he broke down the, the athletes. Uh, if, if Kobe Bryant and... And Zion Williams and all these players are getting this much money. What in the fuck do you think the motherfucker got that writes the checks? You're talking about a blank check? Come on, man. Closing the fucking gap. And 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 he's saying this because it's obvious. This is how I took the shit. Anybody who's touting this, yeah, black, black, uh, fucking, yeah, we getting better, we doing better and shit like that, because you're a fucking, uh, a fucking promotional director at Ciroc, or you're a fucking, a lowly fucking stockholder, and they, and they, and the only reason you're a stockholder is because they made it to where, you have to have diversity on these teams. So you got to let a black dude in. Other than that, it would have been 50 motherfucking all-white stockholders. Like it's been since forever. But now that we have a, a little bit of money and shit like that because they had to give it to us. Yeah, black excellence and shit like that. We're not making no fucking real progress. He told it. Like, dog, the, the, the general amount of money that we have as black people is next to nothing it's almost nothing almost nothing we're damn near in the fucking negatives as far as our worth of, 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 of like on the board or um, um throughout the board nothing so they're pacifying us they're passive look at this uh, look at look at no no ain't no none of that no that's not fucking no you can keep that what looks like, you know what I'm saying, jay Z's a billionaire. You can keep that shit. Man, just give my motherfucking uncle and my fucking, uh, you know, my stepdaddy and them, whatever like that. Just give them good paying jobs to where they don't have to be on the street. Come on, man. You want to erase this fucking gap like the fuck is not there. And they're, and they're fucking imposing that shit. They get these fucking monkeys to come down and fucking say, yeah, there ain't no goddamn gap. We making money and shit like that. While those are the representatives and you think, oh, yeah, the black people are doing well. No, the fuck we aren't. So it's it's so good what my man did at Morehouse. I'm so I I, I hate the fact that he had to do that. I think that we should do that. Not only, nigga, for real, for real. Don't don't get me started now because if if you won't give us physical reparations, every black person goes to college for free. At least you can do that. If you graduate, if you don't graduate, then that's on you. Every graduate doesn't have to pay student loans. We don't need to talk about no oh, well that's ain't no unfair. We're not going to do unfair. We're going to do fair first and then we'll get to unfair. Uh, so shit ain't no more crying about slave movies and the motherfuckers watching when they see us. That was so horrible. They did it to the black boys. Right? It was horrible. Now nah, let's let's goddamn uh, act on that. I don't need your words. I need some motherfucking money. 
And that's why I have to fuck with Tyreek Nasheed and shit like that. And, and that's another thing, you know, that, that goes around with us as black people. Of course, we're going to have, you know, personal issues. When I say personal, I mean personality wise. I don't like the way he talks. Uh, I don't like the way I don't like the way boys walking talk. I don't like the way uh, Dr. Umar walks. I don't like the way Tariq thinks this about himself. I don't like the way this person, hey dog, Jay Morrison, I don't know, and all this other shit, hey dog, this is what we have. Niggas trying to do something until they prove themselves. But you know what it is? It's because we so fucking broke and and crab in a bucket, fucked up mentality that we can't stand making another motherfucker rich. This nigga ain't gonna get rich off me. What the fuck are you talking about? If it's not hurting you, why why would you mind making another motherfucker rich? Why the fuck? Would we, why don't you don't you give the money to the white folks without even thinking about it? But when it comes to a nigga, hold on, man. What the fuck he finna do with this shit, man? What the fuck you doing, nigga? God damn it, man. Let's 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 break the mental chains of slavery. Let's let we can break the mental chains of slavery. And after we break those chains, now let's make these motherfuckers break the goddamn financial chains. Come on, dog. But y'all going fuck with uh 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 a TD hip hop media. That's Tony Delaney, man. That motherfucker is talking some real shit. We need niggas like that. Smart niggas who know goddamn, you know, what's going on and shit like that. That do the studying that we don't want to do. The very least that we can do when people like that do read the books that we don't want to read is at least listen to what happened in the book. That's why when I listen to people give um, uh, reviews on certain shit, I listen to it because like, all right, so I didn't, shit, you, you, you saved me a thousand pages worth of reading. What happened in the book? All right. Now I can then go give that information. That's usually what the fuck I do. You understand? Um, but go fuck with Tony DeLamere. TD Hip Hop Media. Um, real good fucking... He talks about real shit, man. Real shit. But um, today we talking about Young Miami, man. Mm, mm, mm. Young Miami. I will have an interview coming up soon. With me and Katrina Gills from the Conversation With Me uh, show. If you've not subscribed to her, go over there and subscribe to her. She has a, a excellent um, um, theory. Excellent theory on exactly what's going on with this young Miami pregnancy. Um, as I'm understanding um, who they think her baby daddy is may not be the baby daddy uh, and I think that's going to be extremely interesting so stay tuned for that shit I will be doing that interview very soon um, with her um, she just breaking down to you and, and like I said for anybody to say that for sure for sure ah, he ain't the baby daddy he the baby ain't no way that you can know so everyone at this point has theories at this point, everyone, had, even Young Miami has a, has theories because this bitch, I'm sure she don't know. She wasn't just fucking this goddamn, uh, goddamn producer. That ain't even her speed. She hasn't shown us this uh, in her. She doesn't have that in her to be just a, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't, I just, honestly, I don't, you know, from the jump, honestly, seeing Young Miami around this nigga P, it just, I thought it was already understood that she was fucking a nigga. I, I thought that was like off the off the dribble like of course she's fucking P and Coach K if they want to if they want to cause these niggas then seen these hoes without makeup on a, a, a street nothing ass bitch budget you know what I'm saying like the fuck like I'm fucking with real deal you know Paris hoes and, and just really you know fine ass dark skinned bitches don't speak English, you know, Brazilian, you know, fine hoes, man, that, that, you know, with, 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 with different color eyes, you know what I'm saying? Just, just the, the best, the, the best of the best, because I can travel as a thinking man, a black thinking man, I can travel. That's the, like, that's every, 
like there's not a female on the planet that's not going to be interested in that and once you have a bitch interested um she's fascinated then you know what i'm saying you can fuck her fascination leads to fucking um remember that so when you come over here and you just get a you know just a a florida just you know run at a meal working at you know this bitch ain't even bad enough to work at a strip club these hoes are stealing come on man like the fuck yes this whole like bitch you better have some retarded ass neck like yeah like but it but my that's not my that's not my business right there whether or not p is a father or uh the producer nigga south side or whatever is the is the producer and shit like that my thing is to hey my nigga how in the fuck could you do that how in the fuck could you i've told y'all and i'm gonna put that video up where uh shot the uh et uh the comedian go to his page and check him out eric et washington um he pointed out to me that I said that young Miami was going to get pregnant by her new boyfriend, Southside, and shit like that. Which was, that, that wasn't a hard, I didn't even know I said that shit, but that's not a hard speculation to eat or observation to make. Um, she's a nothing ass bitch. As a nothing ass bitch, there, you don't, her mind won't allow her to believe in herself enough. Uh, to allow a chick to walk by to be in a relationship and not produce a child from someone who's making money. All you have to do is be making money. It can be selling dope, working at McDonald's, uh, making beats. And she's never been around niggas with this much money. Um, and they've trusted. <laughs> like it, It's kind of like, letting the, like it, you let a thief in a house. You let a thief in a house. And just left all the safe unlocked, left all the jewelry out. How the fuck is she not? It don't matter, like dog, like this, like this is this is your 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 boss's house. Like you're gonna be working here and shit. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? Like she has to do it. Like fuck, she her, her mind can't compute long term uh, 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 career. No, I was like right here, lick, lick. This is it. Um. So fuck what this rap shit is, um, and niggas, niggas and, and 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 females need to understand. This is this is what this is what life is. Um, JT was the one who had the rap dream. Um, Carisha, <laughs> come on man, this with a name like that, I don't even fuck. You gotta wear a condom. Car are you serious? Um, every time. And goddamn keep all your shit on you. Like, don't close your eyes. Like, but, um, she wasn't the rapper. But, of course, the world is always going to like, um, the, the, the least threatening person. And in America, the least threatening means the least black. You know what I'm saying? So the lighter you are, the, the, the farther you'll get in America. You understand? Because get as close to white as possible. You understand? Um, so, and trust me, if it was the other way around, where Carisha was in jail, um, and Carisha is young Miami, where Carisha was locked up and JT was out, the city girls would have been canceled. It would have been over with. It would have been over with. Um, what I think, what I think though, I think that, um, no, it's not, I, I was going to say, I think that uh, Coach K and, and P, they would have um, handled it to where you, you would know, they, because what good businessman these niggas is, and that's why, that's why I'm going to hope that that P did not do this. I'm gonna hope that he didn't do this because what a good businessman you are to have all that work done to where you know visually we see them as a group. 
we don't, you know, if you're just a casual fan of music, you, you'll, you still hear City Girls, you see JT, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just uh, Young Miami, but it is Young Miami. If you look into it, you'll see Young Miami is the only one that's out. But if you're just a casual fan, you still believe in City Girls. And, and JT will be here any minute, or, or, or like, you don't even give a fuck. It's like, oh, it's City Girls. Because it's not your kind of music anyway. Um, but, like I said, what good business man for them to do that? But I don't think if Carisha, what, Young Miami was in jail and JT was out, I don't think they would still be at this type of level. Um, because nobody would really want to look at JT. People like looking at uh, uh, Young Miami. Let me say this, too. If the reason, another reason why they wouldn't, like, the City Girls would have went been tanked is because if JT would have been saying the shit that, because they, they had the same mind, um, except JT has a passion for music where Young Miami, this is kind of just like, oh, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck about this shit. And that's what people like. They want something that they don't they don't they don't want you to be an artist. At least not in this genre. You know what I'm saying? You go over here to the country, you go where talent is needed. They want to hear like how did you when did you first start playing the guitar? Uh who was your vocal coach? Uh when did you start singing in, in A minor? You know what I'm saying? And shit like that. Oh, and and cause you're you're blowing people away with your talent. But here where personality reigns over all, um, where your, you know, personality is, 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 like, give a fuck about your music. Your personality, like, who are you as a person? Um, it would have, I, I don't I don't think it would have went the same. I don't believe that JT would have get, given the same, you know, she, if she would have said the shit that Young Miami said, people would have looked at her a lot differently. It, it's cool when, you know, uh, Young Miami, um, tell little girls to be prostitutes and shit like that. But when you get a dark skinned girl, that's when motherfuckers would have seen um how the world is. Mother ah, oh, that's nasty and shit. Ugh, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And nobody would have known what the fuck it was, but that's what would have happened because motherfuckers don't take the shit from a because JT is not attractive. Uh neither is young Miami, but she's light skinned. So I uh, that's 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 uh you know, you don't got, like, big-ass bumps on your face, whatever like that, so we can fuck with it. That's all that is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cardi B is not attractive. And now with um, uh, this bitch, is, and now she has silicone poisoning, I need to talk about that, too. This hoe got silicone poisoning. Now, whenever she get on the plane and shit like that, her stomach burning and her feet have scrolled up like Mr. Clump. You know what I'm saying? Go to goddamn uh, conversation with me, uh, Katrina, new video about Cardi B and that motherfucking um and fucking silicone poison and shit like that. Like it, it's it's motherfuckers just don't understand. But see that it's the, that's what I'm telling you. Like this shit, and I'm gonna make a show called the Female Rap Trap, and uh, it's gonna be all about you know silicone poisoning and what these motherfuckers have to do and how it leads them to you know the hospital jail or to the grave um but it, and it's all for image you can suki hana uh city girls megan the stallion cardi b like it's just it's a female rap trap this, this, but this is all you can do if you want to succeed in this rap shit you have to be a hoe have to be a slut you cannot wear clothes you will not see a um a female rapper not show her ass. We know what every one of these bitches' ass look like. There's not a tattoo that they have that is exclusive for their goddamn uh, significant other. Whatever he seen, we seen. And that's what this industry forces you to do. And it's not all the way about them. It's about the example it's about what, as I told y'all before, I told y'all they put followers, they put followers in leaders' position so that they can have a self-cleaning oven, so that this whole thing continues to perpetuate itself. 
you take a follower. So the follower is just following the leader, following, you know, they put a leader in place and you just follow our, our, our idols. So we and shots. And so that's what you hear. They're not going to let one of these leaders over here take over and put a new mindset onto, you know what I'm saying, our young women. They're going to take a follower from that following class and put them as a leader. So now that follower is only going to do what fucking followers do. Follow the trend. So now the follower goes back down. The followers continue. So the followers on top, the followers on bottom. This thing just keep on spinning. Um, and it's, it's a, a vicious cycle. Uh, motherfuckers will ask me why I have so much uh, uh, disdain uh, to them. And it's the same re reason I have the disdain towards... Um, <laughs> niggas that you know understand and it's not really disdain towards them it's like you're an agent you you work for the fucking enemy i have the same disdain towards you that i have towards the motherfucking enemy the, the only thing is the enemy won't let themselves be seen they won't let themselves be seen that's why they hide behind us and they allow us to be their voice boxes uh we're their their, their puppets uh kodak black speaks for all the white supremacists you know what I'm saying? NBA Youngboy says exactly what the slave owner wants to say. Um, that's why they hired him. If they didn't agree with his message, they would not have signed him to the label. It's not about making money. It's about perpetuating a, a fucking mindset. Uh, they want death and destruction to fall amongst us. They understand that when, when we hear it, we take it um, and we do drive-bys to the shit and actually live by this shit it, because it, they've done the studies. Uh, uh, no matter how much gangster shit, I was listening to a nigga interview today. Um, the fuck, the nigga name is um, Ten Phones, Ten Cell Phones. His nigga rap name. He's on that, you know, XXX Temptation on shit like Space Ghost Perp, all them, you know, them weird emo rap niggas and shit like that. But uh, he 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 said low key. I was raised in the suburbs. There ain't no low key, my nigga. You are you raised around white people in the suburbs and shit like that. That's what the fuck it is, and that's why you like that kind of music. But what I'm saying is, it's hard to live out this gangster shit over there, and over here in the projects, you have so many factors coming in that you have to live by this shit. Over there, the only circumstance that you have that matches up with this music is you. Everything in your environment says otherwise. So if you try that shit, whatever like that, it's like, uh, this, you can tell that this is just music. But when you're over here living, seeing food stamp uh, uh, projects, uh, niggas in games, and, 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 and you know, violence, and, and you're seeing this, and this is your your everyday life, this is your ecosystem, this music, uh, this is fucking art imitating life. These motherfuckers have to, you know, go far and wide to see this shit happen. When they see it, oh my God, did you see this shit before you go in the house? Every day. This is your fucking reality. And it allows the powers that be to sit back and be the hidden hand behind all this shit. That just the the the, the ultimate puppeteer, puppet master. That just you know moving all the pieces. So there's like I told y'all before. Um, if you're a part of that fucking system that is killing not only unarmed suspects and uh, children and, and 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 suspects that are that are uh, that are in uh, in custody with handcuffs on and all these other things. N not only that, but you're also, you know, the the media that that puts out the 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 story. Uh, police going to serve a warrant to this person. You know, making sure before the public can even feel sad for some or feel sympathy towards a the person, they're making sure that people know oh no this is a criminal this isn't no this isn't your son or even if you know little billy did you know go on a high speed chase they're gonna say oh army veteran um uh, local high school graduate 
they gonna give him that type of introduction. But over here, it's like police going to serve a warrant. Police were serving the warrant, so the police were doing the right thing, going into a dangerous neighborhood in the middle of the dangerous. You're part of that system that's destroying us because you're not helping. This, this, like this is wartime. This is wartime. You can't tell me that this isn't wartime. If you look at the news. You look at the news. Black man shot. Black child shot. Black woman shot. Black man shot. Black child shot. Black man shot. Black man shot. Black man shot and killed. Black woman Black child shot and killed. And just like fucking roaches, we're just uh, scattering, thinking this is an individual, unrelated dog. Oh, this shit is world. It's not this video, though. But I'm saying, if you're not part of the fucking uh, uh, solution, and you're part of the fucking problem, pure point blank, um, if you're promoting um, fucking sucking and, and having children during a time where they're letting it be known like um when they see us movies like this is coming out it's right here in your face how could you align yourself with these people but you will but that's that's not what you know that's totally that that's off the topic right because motherfuckers don't understand how this shit is all together all in together now um i don't know whose child this is um, I'm hoping, like I said, I'm hoping that it's not P child because I really hope that he got way more mind in that. Like I said before, hey, why in the fuck when you tell this bitch to be on birth control? I don't want to get birth control. It's going to make me fat. That's probably what Cardi B told motherfucking Offset and shit like that. Then he went for it, but I, just don't, I don't understand like how you went for that shit like you a free fucking man. A free fucking man. Wait, not offset wasn't free, but you wasn't under that type of you know what I'm saying? Like motherfuckers like, oh what 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 can one more baby mama hurt? And the motherfuckers don't understand. Like that that could be the difference between, you know, you having some money and having no fucking money. Um if she says she don't want to get on birth control and you don't want to have a child, it that's simple math right there. Um it's 2019. If she won't get on birth control, it's time to get down the road. If she'll blatantly just say, I want to get on birth control. And even if she say that she's going to get on birth control, you need to watch her. If she's not taking it, you know what I'm saying? Because cause the bitch will rock you to sleep. Uh, she'll rock you to sleep. Take it for a year. And you think everything, all right, this is a process. This is what we do every week. She'll act like she went. She act, she been acting like she's been going for three months. And she ain't took that shit in three months. Now when the baby pop up, you like, you looking at her, and she looking at you, like, I got you. And then y'all having a conversation just through this look like, bitch, you really trapped me. And she like, yeah, I trapped you, but I, I was tired of waiting. I told you I wanted a baby. You should have known I was going to, you know, do something to get a baby. Bitch, I told you I didn't want a baby though. But I love you, so we should have a baby together. It ain't about love. We don't have the money for no child, and I already told you this shit. Why in the fuck did you trap me? It ain't about all that. I, I, uh, the baby here now, so we need to think about the future, not the past. Because I'm not finna kill my baby. You get all this shit from a look. Y'all having a whole conversation through a look. You nothing ass bitch. You know I didn't want no child. I told you to go down that motherfucker. And you stopped going down this motherfucker. But you've been leaving every fucking month. Like you've been going down this motherfucker man. Because you knew. That if you stopped going. That I was going to stop fucking you all. And see. this, And see when we start talking about shit like that dog. That's when I start, you know, I so you did some dirty ass shit like that, 
So now, because when you when you just walk up on somebody and punch them in the face, dog, whatever the fuck they do to you after that is on them. Ain't nothing too fucking far. After you done did some shit like that to a person, whatever happens after that is on you. You should not have done that to no fucking body. You and see, like, bitch, you're working with the fucking system. The only way that you have me trapped is because now you can go to the law because you know that the fucking law will enforce and take me to jail if I don't do this. You nothing ass bitch. I'm telling you. I'm not ready for children. And you're going to go and get pregnant anyway. And then publicly try to embarrass me. Like he ain't no good father. I didn't want to be a fucking... But nobody wants to hear that. Nobody's hearing that. And this is and this is what I'm trying to get through to you. I'm trying to get this through to you. But it's just so many motherfuckers not, not hearing. Now, I say this to, to make sure that as a female you understand. This is what you brought upon yourself. Um, with Young Miami... I don't know how it went down because now, because once you, like I said, once you do some shit like that, like if a nigga kill you and shit like that, a nigga, I, I won't shit, I'm t I'm, I won't shed no tears for you. When you look at how, I, now that you have this, you have this child. In your stomach. This just changed my whole life. And this is why I was talking about how you could be let south side. Just you know, nigga ain't never been to jail before. Uh uh just a good nigga, whatever like that. You've been living life, life been all good, making my beats all, 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 all good. So you just been living your life, living life, living life, living life. And then you run into a nothing ass bitch. And then all of a sudden. You're going to court. You've never been to court in your whole fucking life. But you ran into this motherfucker. And now all of a sudden you're going to court. For domestic violence. For sexual misconduct. Rape. Child support. See this is what. This is this is the, the nothing ass bitch. This is what the theory. See. You were doing good in life. You ran into a female that you thought was a good girl. Because you didn't know she. You were green. You know she's a nothing ass bitch because at that point. Now life starts doing. You know in the beginning it's. Ah, but then it turns into. Ah. Because you were guilty of, you know, just. And were you really guilty? Like she, she ran game on you, and just like you know, with this, and it's like, and like my only issue, like I said, my only issue with the bitch is the children. Children are fucking innocent. Why in the fuck would you bring a child into this? unstable situation you have someone telling you they don't want a child and you bring a child in that's their child you're gonna force them to to do the most important job on the planet before they're ready that's my only that's my only grievance a child, an innocent child, you will bring that into the situation? I've never fucked a bitch without telling the bitch. But, you know, that's 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 different. With this situation right here with Young Miami, what I want to tell 
South Side. And I want to ask, like, nigga, are you going to sign the birth? Don't sign the birth certificate. Do not sign the birth certificate. Don't sign the birth certificate. You're going to have to grab your nuts. Grab your nuts and ask for a DNA test from the jump. If there's nothing to hide, there is nothing to hide. DNA tests just want let's let's shut all the haters up. DNA tests. She try to hit like oh, oh, what what the haters got to do with? It? I ain't with no haters. I ain't what that's what I'm saying. We ain't gotta tell nobody. We ain't gotta tell nobody. Well, actually, no. Let's tell people. We went and got a DNA test for y'all haters. So just shut all that shit up. Get a DNA test. You, you you fucked up the first time because you told the bitch to get on birth control and she hit you with the I, I ain't can't get on birth control. That's gonna make me fat. I gotta go on stage. And you kept rocking. Right then and there, you could have been down the road, and you're gonna forever and ever look at that day as the day that you ruined your fucking life. Because it's not about the child. It, it, at this point, it has shit to do with the child. Nah. Because you're not going to get a chance to be a father. Same way Future is not getting a chance to be a father. Same as any nigga don't get a chance to be the father. Because the mother, her boyfriend is going to get the chance to be the father. And the boyfriend going to say, I do more for this child than you ever did. That's how it's going to be. She's going to she gonna make it like it's... It, you're going to be a satellite dad. A, 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 a Disney dad. A, a weekend father. They'll, they'll call you an Instagram dad when really you, you just want to get some pictures with your child because you don't get to see the child that much. Maybe that's how you, you know, uh, when you miss your child, that's how you reminisce. But they're going to have so many words. And if you weren't prepared for that, as soon as she said she don't do birth control, out the fucking door. Because like I was saying, bitch like this can't pass up no lick like this. She didn't give a fuck if it was P or if it's C, D, E, F, G. That wouldn't fucking matter. As long as this nigga's in the goddamn G-A-M-E, it's all good. Give a fuck? Michael Blackston. I need a check. And it's like, and this, like I told y'all, and I hope I didn't say this already, but I can't remember, so I gotta give you this. This is what, this is at the essence, the very essence, this is what a nothing ass bitch is. She doesn't see, she can't see herself as shit. She can't see herself as being nobody, doing nothing. She's a nothing ass bitch at her core. So whenever she sees something of value, she needs to attach herself to it. I don't trust, you know, in, in my personality or my sex or, you know, that, that's that, that confidence shit is superficial. If you are really confident, it will be enough. Dog, confident, bad bitches, they'll be 35 years old, 40 years old with no children. With no fucking children because, nigga, as soon as you start acting crazy, I'm gone. Them niggas is still hitting their phone now. I gotta have no fucking child by you to... The fuck? I don't have to threaten you with shit. I I, I can threaten you with, leave, with leaving and that will be enough to make you straighten the fuck up. That's what confidence is. These bitches, these nothing ass bitches, I, I'm a bad bitch, I'm a boss bitch, they'll claim all that shit, but can't just walk away. You wanna take a nigga, you wanna kill a nigga car. You wanna uh, go bust a nigga window out of his car. You wanna go uh, burn nigga clothes up. All that, you gotta do something to a nigga because you know that you walking out is just not gonna hurt him. He's walking away like you, you're the one who lost something. You don't feel like you're a prize. All that social media shit is bullshit. If you are truly confident and really a boss bitch, you leaving a nigga? If you have the to the privilege to know a real bad bitch, dog. She don't got no nigga on no fucking child support, my nigga. She don't got no nigga on child support, dog. Her life is set up a whole different fucking way. She wouldn't fucking dare 
walk into a fucking courtroom and have to try to beg them. Like, ho, oh, oh, ho, no, 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 I'm good on this. I'm good on this. Uh, he's either going to do it or he isn't. Me and mine going to be good. We're going to be good. Motherfucker going to have to force her to go to a fucking uh, a child support court. But because it's just, you're around so many nothing ass bitches and, and so much just, ah, this, this filth, trash. It's normal. And that's why you, you don't mind putting that shit on your head. You just put this shit on your head and you'll never let your hair breathe. You'll never let your real hair bleed because you're not really that. You'll never come outside without the makeup on. You'll never take a picture on, on Instagram uh, with your whole body without a filter on it. So it, it, it really bothers me when I, you know, the bad bitch, boss bitch, uh, like, like these hoes act like they're, they're like, ho, how the fuck are you confident and there's not one picture on your page Without a filter on it. There's not one full body pic. Bad bitches do not fucking do that. Full body pic. Because they're truly confident in themselves. And they don't even have to say it. They don't even have to say it. And that, that's all it is. I, I just want people. Dog, be you. Be you. Be you. This is my issue with these the, the fake gangster niggas coming in this rap shit. Like, be you. It's annoying to see you trying to be something that you have no idea how to be. Especially when, you know, people like me either are or know the people that you're imitating. You're not that. So, let's let's get that cleared up. A bad bitch don't have to light no nigga shit on. She would she wouldn't even get her nails like the fuck. She has her own shit. She would hate for someone to fuck her shit up. She don't have to do that to you. To fuck your shit up. I'm gone. That's going to fuck you up. And if it doesn't fuck you, I don't give a fuck. I have, I have a whole life over here. These bitches cannot allow... They can't without... And you have to be able to identify a parasite when you see them. They give you signs. You gotta be able to keep, like you know, I'm. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I uh, so many people. Um, you know they they. Hey yo man, I need some advice. Hey yo man, look this girl. Hey man, she did. Hey ah uh, ah. Uh, and I talk to them. You know every Monday I do my my personal calls and I talk from six a.m. to nine a.m. I talk to you know people um about their issues and shit like that. Hey, uh, this is what's going on. What do you think, y'all? And and it's all the same shit. It's you didn't read the signs. There were signs that this wasn't going like you thought it should go. But you still played with this shit. If you truly believe that you're on your way to greatness. as a, I, I don't talk to anyone but people who want to be their own bosses. I, like I said before. I don't. If you don't want. If you if, are good with working for someone. And letting somebody boss you around. However nice they do it. I salute you. I salute you. Um, do your thing, whatever like that. But I, I'm not going to... I can't really conversate with you because I conversate under the, 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 the notion um, that you are trying to start your own business. That's what the three S's are for. And, and that's, that's what I operate in. So when you're talking to me, I'm thinking, okay, all right, what phase of your plan where you at during this time like what phase were like of like were you still working are you still working at your job putting money into your business what was going on at this time because all that shit matters but you had signs to where you were warned of what you were dealing with and it's just I'm it's just it's just it's just a lot man um and your whole life can be destroyed by getting with the wrong person. And it works the same way with niggas. If you're a female who is trying to build something bigger than being a fucking employee. You can meet a dude who has all the right outside that the outer layer is just how you want it. 
but he can show that he's um, not dependable, uh, drug habits, you know, just the regular nothing ass nigga shit. It's like he's good with where he's at. He doesn't see his potential. Um, he's scamming. Uh, he he uh, doesn't follow through on anything he says. He's showing you that he doesn't want to be shit. Don't let this motherfucker attach himself to you. He didn't strip your whole bank account and shit like that. He's not truly confident. The only difference would be, it's not a difference. A nothing ass bitch will be working. A nigga could be working. The nothing ass bitch is up under you working, trying to get a, a find a way to goddamn get that money about you. A nothing ass nigga is doing the same thing. He's doing the same fucking thing. This is what nothing ass people do. You know what I'm saying? Like they try to feed off of other people instead of building themselves. And when you'll fuck who they tear down in the process. It's just, you know what I'm saying? And it's, it, but they give you signs of who they are. You're not gonna be, show characteristics of a, you know, a hardworking person, um, goal driven person and shit like that. Um, and, and has integrity. And then all of a sudden just, you know, just take everything from you and just, you know, fuck your whole life up. No, you're gonna see signs. Um, and, and that's really what I'm on right here with this shit. This bitch gave signs. Young Miami gave signs that she was a nothing ass bitch. And she didn't want to be anything more than a nothing ass bitch. Uh, even in this music shit. Um, I assume she's probably getting robbed right now. Robbed real good too. Um, a lot of motherfuckers, man, motherfuckers love to see stupid motherfuckers coming with money because it's just as an accountant, as a lawyer, you can just, you know, just fuck these. Like I said, I was talking to um my nigga the other day and um actually went to Guitar Center and um we saw headphones that cost three hundred dollars and we were like, what the fuck, three hundred dollars fucking head? What the fuck these motherfuckers do? And um, but if you're a um road manager or, or uh you're the, you're the money guy in in um Takashi 6 ix camp and shit like that you know or you're the label fuck it you know you can you know motherfucker when they finally do look at they fucking you know they money and shit like that like where the fuck did all this goddamn money go i can't be fucking broke the fuck like yeah you spent like fifty thousand on headphones how the fuck did I spend 50000 on headphones? Every time that you had to get a new pair, we had to go get them. Headphones? Yeah, they cost $200 every time. $300. $300 for fucking headphones? And it's just it's shit like that. You're not keeping your eye on your money. And there's so many ways to fuck a artist over. So much fucking hidden money just from these different... And it like... You know, and this is the business. Like, a motherfucker's business is to fuck you over. If you're you out this whole playing around and unfocused and it's just not for everybody. And, and it's, you know, you can be built for this shit and still get fucked over. Um, but knowing that, and that's, and that's another thing that can drive a person to extreme uh, measures to where... Um, Maybe something was going wrong with the label and I was like, fuck it, I need to lock some in, some forever money. And I'm sure everybody can see that shit because they have, as an artist, they said the shit about Cardi B too. Um, after the word got out that Cardi B was hospitalized uh, about her uh, silicone poison, they said it's, you know, they said it's some fucking, uh, you know, swollen, swollen feet and, and burning stomach and shit like that. Bitch, that's motherfucking uh, silicone poison. But, uh, ticket sales had went down. So you're just like a motherfucker will look at his views on fucking YouTube uh, or your hours at work. Motherfucker can see. Shit, I had goddamn. I was doing at least five thousand fifty six hundred goddamn tickets. And now I'm doing goddamn. You know, you know I ain't doing nothing but forty nine thousand forty nine. You know, just these numbers, and, and you can watch as the media directly influences sales. And this shit get deep as a motherfucker, man. It get deep as a motherfucker. So you'll have this advisor on side of you from the label 
saying, uh, right now you need something, you need something to put you in the media. And this is just something totally different. Uh, you need something to put you in the media or whatever like that. And this is why artists jump off the fucking, no, because we're looking, all right, so see after you did that bullshit stunt, look at the numbers. Now ticket sales are, are taking a spike. Once you see shit like this, this will really change your personality because you know, just like we say police officers have a quota of how many tickets they got to fucking write. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same shit. Like, I got to do something to get me in the fucking news. So, but with this situation right here, you know, I, I don't, I think she just, oh, good old fashioned, securing a bag, um, just get me next to a nigga that's making some money and shit like that. And I'm, I'm just finna, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that shit. Nigga. <laughs> and that, that, that's another thing I'm wondering too. Like, nigga, you see this motherfucker with her fucking child. And, and you would want, it's like, come on, my nigga. Whoever did this, I, I, if, like I said, if Pete did it, I'm sure it was like a, like, this, this real deal, ego shit. I don't know if y'all heard me. Because I don't know if we cut off. Before I talked about it, about um, Sex in the City being the white version of Girlfriends. And one of the characters on Sex in the City said, you stroke a man's dick, you have him for a night. Stroke a man's ego, you have him for a lifetime. And um, I, I think that's what, if this is P-Baby, then that's what she did. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, when you fuck another nigga bitch... And they all online, like, all oh, we in love and all this shit like this. And it's like, it just really make you feel like you that nigga. Like, I'm that nigga, man. All these niggas, I'm fucking this bitch. I'm that nigga, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just really puts you up there with that shit. And that shit, do not underestimate that shit. Like, a hoe can just be a, a hoe. Like I said, she can be single and nigga when you see her. But now she walk in with a boyfriend, like, oh. Now you go to the water fountain, that hoe start looking kind of, you know what I'm saying? Now she grab your dick, you know what I'm saying? Even more, even if, uh, like, if you just a dog like that, hoe grab your dick, you probably gonna go, um, depending, you know, just depending. But I just really, I'm gonna say, I, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm ride with Pete, man. I say, man, if that, that is Pete, baby, man, she, she, man, she took that shit out of her mouth and put that shit in a fucking condom and, and impregnated her fucking self. I just don't want to believe that Pete. Went down like that. Even though it would explain why motherfucker ain't tell this this motherfucker about Cardi. Like how in the fuck you let your biggest fucking act got a hole in this pocket now? Unless that's the fuck you wanted. Why in the fuck wouldn't a motherfucker say like, no, dog, nah, we ain't gonna rock like that. We not gonna rock like that. If she won't take the birth control, get the fuck away from this hoe. Or maybe P just saw like shit. If Offset with goddamn Cardi B and shit, they a power couple. She and I, I still make money. I don't know how the fuck that happened, but for P to get caught up in this fucking you know the rapture is like my nigga. <laughs> but either way, the biggest issue here is child support. It's child support. Um, she gonna get that big check, and I'm telling you, Southside. You need to ask for a DNA test right now. But, and, and really, go ahead and wait. Wait for that DNA test for after she had a baby, whatever like that. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to, you know what I'm saying, have your, your shit, you know, all thrown off. Because, like I said before, uh, once motherfuckers know that you making beats to pay your child support, now now your beats kind of crusty and rusty and shit like that. Even though that shit don't mean a fucking thing about beats, but you know how shit is, man. Shit get fucking retarded. Like, that shit shouldn't matter, but you know what I'm saying? It just, you know, motherfucker lose their lust and shit. You just want to keep that lust on you. And, uh, motherfuckers start going into your fucking payments and try to find out how much you making and shit like that. And uh, So, hold on. And, and, and now... Nah, you know, you kissing on her stomach now, nah, but nigga, she getting caught and shit like that now. Nah, like, oh no, he made plenty of beats. Uh, he made plenty of beats for everybody. Uh, uh he made all the beats for everybody. He get a million dollars a beat, and we know that. <laughs> and 
and they start whapping your stupid ass for twenty thousand dollars a fucking month. For what, dog? For what? Y'all not finna be together. Y'all not finna be together. Like you not you not finna get a chance to be no fucking father. <laughs> Nigga, man, watch this. If that is not P baby. Alright, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna say that, man. I'm not gonna say it. I'm trying to tell you, though, dog. Nigga, this Miami, man, that bitch finna goddamn... Ain't no telling who the fuck Miami finna start dating. Ain't no telling who the fuck she finna start dating. But it's not finna be... The, the baby that is just not gonna be that, dog. It is not gonna be like that. And it just... You just, you just, I don't know why you can't see the shit though. Like, why the fuck would you get young Miami pregnant? That's just the whole question. Like, why would you do that? The shit that she gonna want her daughter or son to do, you won't want that. But I, I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't, I ain't gonna get into it. Like I said, you rocked out, you you made the mistake, whatever like that. And uh, I can't rock, the, you, you can't be part of the Men Too movement. Uh, because you think that you that nigga. You think that, you know what I'm saying, this shit don't apply to you. So, let it, let it rock out how it rock out. Do your thing. But I will give you that, though. Do not sign that motherfucking birth certificate. Because then, all, everything out the window. Like, it, it's over with. It don't matter if, if the baby yours or not. You sign a birth certificate, that's your fucking baby. Don't sign a birth certificate. Big Face Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that, uh, PayPal. See you in a minute. Love.